Hello everyone, this is Ton from Ton Does Linux and More, and today we're diving into an exciting development in the Linux world. Ubuntu is taking significant strides forward with its upcoming 25.10 release, embracing the Rust programming language to enhance its core utilities. This shift could change how we interact with one of the most popular Linux distributions. Traditionally, Ubuntu has relied on the GNU core utilities, which are the bedrock of Unix-like systems. Think of tools like ls for listing files and cp for copying them. However, as the world evolves, so do the technologies we use. A new project called Utils has emerged reimagining these fundamental tools using Rust. Starting with Ubuntu 25.10, we are likely to see some of these Rust-based utilities becoming the new default. This ambitious plan is spearheaded by Canonical's John Seeger, who aims to integrate these modern implementations first in 25.10 and later in the Ubuntu 26 Model 4 LTS version. But why the shift to Rust? The primary motivations extend beyond just performance improvements. Rust is well known for its safety features, including a robust type system and a borrow checker that help prevent memory-related vulnerabilities. Given the critical role that core system components play, opting for Rust could significantly bolster the security and reliability of devices running Ubuntu. This is a big deal, especially as security threats continue to evolve and pose risks to users worldwide. To ensure a smooth transition, Canonical has developed a command line utility called Oxidizer. This clever tool allows users to experiment with Rust-based alternatives while keeping the classic implementations intact. With Oxidizer, users can toggle between traditional GNU tools and their Rust counterparts effortlessly each experiment corresponds to a Rust-based package, providing flexibility and a safety net if compatibility issues arise. If a user runs into trouble, they can simply revert back to the classic tools with ease. As Rust continues to gain traction across various software development areas, it's refreshing to see it making its way into core Linux distributions like Ubuntu. With this groundbreaking move, we might soon witness a broader trend of replacing legacy C components with Rust alternatives across other distributions as well. It's an exciting time for Linux users, and I can't wait to see what the future holds in this evolving landscape. Thank you for tuning in to Ton Does Linux and More. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest in the world of Linux.